Aloha, it's Kiana, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Longstrokes Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Longstrokes for all your shopping needs. Earth saw its hottest day in at least 44 years on Tuesday. According to the University of Maine's Climate Reanalyzer, the globe's average temperature reached 62.9 degrees Fahrenheit. That high broke Monday's record average temperature of 62.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The data from the university's climate tool only goes back to 1979 and is not an official National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration record. But NOAA said that Tuesday was likely the hottest day in several hundred years. Today could bring another unofficial record as the climate reanalyzer is forecasting record or near record heat. When the heat spikes, people suffer health effects, especially the young and elderly. This week's record breaking global temperatures are the latest in a series of climate change extremes. After nearly 25 years in the spotlight, Punahou alumna Michelle Wee West will likely close out her professional golf career this weekend. Wee West is scheduled to play in the U.S. Women's Open at Pebble Beach, where her husband will act as her caddy for the first time. It will be the end to a long career that started with Wee West winning the U.S. Women's Amateur Public Links Championship when she was 13. She made an LPGA tournament cut at the same age and played a PGA Tour event at 14 before turning pro at 15. Wee West won the Open at 24 and then spent years with more injuries, cuts, and withdrawals than strong showings. She will finish with five LPGA Tour wins, putting her in a tie for 69th place on the career victory list. Coco Lee, the Hong Kong-born singer and songwriter, has died. Lee's siblings confirmed that the star died by suicide after battling depression for several years. Lee was born in Hong Kong but later moved to the U.S. where she attended middle and high school. She had a successful career in Asia as a pop singer in the 1990s and 2000s where she was known for her powerful voice and live performances. Initially, a mandopop singer, Lee branched out to release albums in Cantonese and English over her nearly 30-year career. She was the voice of heroine Fa Mulan in the Mandarin version of Disney's Mulan, and also sang the Mandarin version of the movie's theme song, Reflection. Lee's siblings said her condition deteriorated over the past few months, and she attempted suicide at home over the weekend. She was in a coma and died today. Lee was 48. Honolulu police have arrested a 43-year-old man in connection with a machete attack in Haleiwa. At about 5.50 Tuesday evening, the suspect struck a 41-year-old man several times with a machete, causing injuries to his forehead, shoulder, and cheek. The suspect was arrested about an hour later for second-degree assault. No information about the victim's condition has been released. Police of the suspect remains in custody pending an investigation. Meanwhile, Honolulu firefighters rescued two women off Makua Beach in Makaha after their inflatable paddleboard drifted more than 100 yards from shore. HFD received the call shortly before 8 Tuesday night and responded with five units carrying 13 personnel. The two paddleboarders were about 100 to 150 yards offshore and drifting east when firefighters arrived. HFD's Air One helicopter airlifted the pair from the ocean to a nearby landing zone. Wall Street edged lower today as international markets dipped on discouraging economic data from China. The S&P 500 fell 8.77 points, or 0.2%, to drift lower from its highest levels since April 2022. The Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped 129.83, or 0.4%, and the Nasdaq Composite lost 25.12, or 0.2%. Today's drift came after a rally that had sent markets soaring 16% higher for the year so far. The U.S. economy has remained stronger than many investors feared, but hope is rising that inflation will cool enough to prompt the Federal Reserve to stop hiking interest rates. The Fed is expected to raise rates later this month, and the central bank has been hinting that a second hike could be coming by the end of the year. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.